silk production has a rich and diverse history, spanning centuries and continents. From the traditional silk artisans of China to the modern mills of Italy, silk production has evolved and adapted to changing times and technologies. One of the earliest and most famous centers of silk production is China. The Chinese have been producing silk for over 5,000 years and have perfected the techniques and methods involved in the production process. The Chinese silk industry is made up of a network of small, family-run workshops that specialize in different aspects of the production process, from raising silkworms to spinning the silk into yarn. These artisans are highly skilled and use traditional methods that have been passed down from generation to generation. In India, silk production has a similarly rich history. India is known for producing some of the finest silk in the world, particularly in the state of Karnataka. The silk produced in India is often decorated with intricate designs and patterns, making it highly sought after by designers and consumers alike. In Japan, silk production has been a vital industry for centuries. The country is known for its high-quality silk, which is produced using traditional methods that have been passed down through generations. The Japanese silk industry is also known for its innovation, with many modern techniques and technologies being developed and adopted in recent years. In Europe, the Italian city of Como is one of the most important centers of silk production. Como has a long history of silk production, dating back to the Middle Ages, and is now home to some of the most advanced silk mills in the world. These mills produce some of the finest silk fabrics and textiles, which are used by fashion designers and luxury brands around the world. In recent years, Silk production has also expanded to other parts of the world, such as Thailand, Vietnam, and Brazil. These countries have developed their own unique approaches to silk production, often combining traditional methods with modern technologies. Despite the diversity of silk production around the world, there are some common threads that unite all silk producers. These include a deep respect for the environment and a commitment to sustainability. Silk production is a labor-intensive process that requires a significant amount of natural resources, such as water and mulberry leaves. As such, silk producers around the world are increasingly adopting sustainable practices to ensure that their industry is not only environmentally responsible but also economically viable in the long term. Silk production is also an industry that has faced many challenges throughout history. One of the most significant challenges has been the spread of disease among silkworms. Silkworms are the primary source of silk production, and any outbreak of disease can have devastating consequences for the industry. To combat this, silk producers have developed various strategies to prevent the spread of disease, such as using disease-resistant silkworms and implementing strict hygiene protocols. Another challenge facing the silk industry is competition from synthetic materials. While silk has many unique properties that make it highly desirable, such as its natural sheen and softness, synthetic materials such as polyester are often cheaper and more durable. To compete, Silk producers are increasingly focusing on innovation, creating new blends of silk and other materials, and developing new production techniques that can help them stay competitive in the market. Despite these challenges, the silk industry continues to thrive around the world, with demand for high-quality silk remaining strong. From the traditional silk artisans of China to the modern mills of Italy, Silk producers continue to create some of the most beautiful and luxurious fabrics and textiles in the world. With a focus on sustainability, innovation, and excellence, the future of silk production looks bright. In addition to its use in fashion and textiles, silk has many other applications. For example, silk is increasingly being used in medical and biomedical research. 
Silk proteins have unique properties that make them ideal for use in a range of medical applications, such as drug delivery, tissue engineering, and wound healing. Silk also has a long history of use in traditional medicine. In China, silk has been used for thousands of years in various medicinal remedies, such as wound dressings and remedies for respiratory conditions. Silk has also been used in Ayurvedic medicine in India for its anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties. In recent years, there has been growing interest in sustainable and ethical silk production. Silk production has traditionally been a labor-intensive industry, with many workers involved in the various stages of production. As such, there have been concerns about worker exploitation and poor working conditions in some parts of the industry. To address these concerns, a growing number of silk producers are adopting sustainable and ethical production practices, such as fair labor standards and environmentally responsible production methods. Silk is a protein fiber produced by silkworms, which are the larvae of the silk moth. The process of silk production begins with the cultivation of the silkworms, which are typically raised on a diet of mulberry leaves. The silkworms spin cocoons around themselves, which are then harvested and processed to extract the silk fibers. The cocoons are boiled or treated with heat to kill the silkworms and make it easier to extract the silk. Once the silk has been extracted, it is spun into yarn or thread, which can be woven into various fabrics and textiles. The properties of silk make it highly desirable for use in fashion and textiles, as it is soft, lustrous, and drapes well. Silk also has excellent insulating properties, making it suitable for use in a range of climates. In addition to its use in fashion and textiles, silk has many other applications. For example, silk is increasingly being used in medical and biomedical research. Silk proteins have unique properties that make them ideal for use in a range of medical applications, such as drug delivery, tissue engineering, and wound healing. Silk production has faced many challenges throughout history, including the spread of disease among silkworms and competition from synthetic materials. To combat these challenges, silk producers have developed various strategies, such as using disease-resistant silkworms. Implementing strict hygiene protocols, and focusing on innovation to create new blends of silk and other materials. Another challenge facing the silk industry is the issue of sustainability and ethical production practices. Silk production has traditionally been a labor-intensive industry, with many workers involved in the various stages of production. As such, there have been concerns about worker exploitation and poor working conditions in some parts of the industry. Fashion is a reflection of culture, and traditional fashion in South America is no exception. From the vibrant textiles of Peru to the colorful ponchos and sombreros of Mexico, the fashion of this region is deeply rooted in history and tradition. Mexico, in particular, is known for its distinctive style of traditional dress. The Poncho, for example, is a sleeveless garment made of wool or other materials, and is often decorated with intricate patterns and vibrant colors. Originally worn by indigenous people in the Andes region of South America, the poncho was later adopted by Mexican cowboys and ranchers, and has since become an iconic symbol of Mexican culture. Today, ponchos are worn by people of all ages and backgrounds, and can be found in a variety of styles and designs. The sombrero is another traditional Mexican garment that is instantly recognizable. 
This broad brimmed hat is typically made of straw or felt, and is often decorated with colorful ribbons and other embellishments. Like the poncho, the sombrero has its roots in indigenous culture, and was originally worn by farmers and laborers in Mexico. Today, the sombrero is still worn for practical purposes, such as protecting the wearer from the sun, but it has also become a popular fashion accessory. In Peru, traditional fashion is characterized by bright colors and bold patterns. The most famous of these patterns is the Inca textile, which features geometric designs in a wide range of colors. Inca textiles were traditionally woven from alpaca wool, which is known for its softness and durability. Today, these textiles are still produced using traditional techniques, and are prized for their beauty and cultural significance. Another iconic garment from Peru is the chuyo, a type of woolen hat with ear flaps that is often decorated with pom-poms or other embellishments. Like the poncho and the sombrero, the chuyo has its roots in indigenous culture, and was originally worn by Andean farmers and shepherds. Today, the chuyo is a popular fashion accessory in Peru and other parts of South America, and is often worn by people of all ages. Argentina is also known for its distinctive style of traditional dress. One of the most famous Argentine garments is the gaucho outfit, which is worn by horsemen and cowboys in the Pampas region of the country. The gaucho outfit typically includes a wide-brimmed hat, a poncho, and loose-fitting pants called bombachas. The style of the gaucho outfit has remained largely unchanged for centuries, and is a testament to the enduring influence of tradition in Argentine culture. In addition to the garments mentioned above, there are many other traditional fashion items that are popular in South America. For example, in Chile, the chapala hat is a popular accessory especially among rural farmers and ranchers. This wide-brimmed straw hat is similar in style to the Mexican sombrero, but is typically smaller and less decorated. In Brazil, traditional fashion is characterized by bright colors and bold prints, with many garments featuring intricate embroidery and beading. One famous Brazilian garment is the Baiana dress, which is worn by women in the state of Bahia. This dress is made of lightweight cotton or silk, and features a full skirt and a cropped blouse. The Baiana dress is often paired with a colorful headwrap and chunky jewelry, creating a vibrant and festive look. Traditional fashion in South America is not just limited to clothing, but also includes a wide range of accessories. In Ecuador, for example, the Panama hat is a popular accessory, despite its name suggesting it is from Panama. These lightweight, breathable hats are made of straw and are popular among both men and women. In Argentina, the bombilla and mate gourd are traditional accessories used for drinking mate, a popular herbal tea. In addition to the traditional garments and accessories, South America also has a rich history of leatherworking. 
Argentina, in particular, is known for its high-quality leather goods, including belts, shoes, and jackets. The country's long tradition of cattle ranching has given rise to a thriving leather industry, with many skilled artisans producing beautiful and durable leather products. Another aspect of traditional fashion in South America is the use of natural materials, such as wool, cotton, and alpaca. These materials are often locally sourced and processed using traditional methods, resulting in high-quality fabrics and textiles that are both beautiful and sustainable. The influence of traditional fashion can also be seen in contemporary South American fashion, as many designers draw inspiration from traditional garments and incorporate elements of traditional design into their modern collections. For example, Peruvian designer Mesh Coria is known for her vibrant, textured designs that incorporate traditional Peruvian textiles and motifs. In recent years, there has also been a growing interest in sustainable and ethical fashion in South America with many designers and brands focusing on environmentally friendly and socially responsible practices. This has led to a renewed appreciation for traditional materials and techniques, as well as a greater awareness of the importance of preserving cultural heritage. South American traditional fashion is deeply rooted in the history and culture of the region, and there is a wide variety of garments, materials, and techniques used in different countries. 4. Example, in Bolivia, traditional fashion is characterized by the use of alpaca. Wool, which is soft, warm, and highly valued for its quality. The traditional Bolivian outfit for women includes a brightly colored skirt and blouse, along with a shawl or cape made of alpaca wool. Men often wear ponchos made of wool or other materials, along with wide-brimmed hats or fedoras. In Colombia, traditional fashion is influenced by the country's indigenous cultures, as well as by Spanish colonialism. The ruana is a traditional garment worn by both men and women and is similar to a poncho but with a slit for the head. Ruanas are often made of wool or cotton and can be plain or decorated with colorful designs. The sombrero vultao is another traditional Colombian Garment, a type of hat made of woven cane or palm fibers. In Uruguay, traditional fashion is influenced by the country's history as a cattle ranching nation, with leather and suede being popular materials for clothing and accessories. The traditional Uruguayan outfit for men includes a beret or fedora, a poncho and loose-fitting pants called bombachas. Women often wear long skirts and blouses, along with shawls made of wool or other materials. In addition to the traditional garments themselves, there are also many traditional techniques used in South American fashion. For example, backstrap. Weaving is a traditional technique used by indigenous communities in many countries, including Guatemala and Bolivia. This technique involves weaving fabric on a loom that is attached to a person's waist, using a strap to hold the loom in place. Similarly, embroidery is a popular traditional technique used in many South American countries, with many garments featuring intricate and colorful embroidery. 
Designs Handmade lace, crochet, and knitting are also popular techniques used to create delicate and detailed designs on clothing and accessories. For example, in Chile, the Waso outfit is a traditional style of dress worn by rural farmers and cowboys. Fashion shopping place in the French fashion capital and unique shopping experiences here. Paris, the fashion capital of the world, is a paradise for fashion lovers. The city is filled with high-end fashion boutiques, department stores, and designer shops that offer a unique shopping experience. From the iconic Avenue des Champs-Élysées to the trendy Le Marais district, Paris has something for everyone when it comes to shopping for fashion. One of the most popular shopping destinations in Paris is the Galerie Lafayette. This grand department store is a must-visit for any fashion enthusiast. Spread over 10 floors, Galerie Lafayette is home to a wide range of high-end fashion brands such as Chanel, Dior, and Gucci. The store also houses an extensive beauty section, home decor section, and a gourmet food hall. One of the unique features of Galerie Lafayette is the stunning dome that sits at the center of the store, offering a breathtaking view of the city. Another iconic shopping destination in Paris is the Avenue des Champs-Élysées. This famous avenue is home to a variety of luxury stores such as Louis Vuitton, Cartier, and Hermès. The wide sidewalks and tree-lined boulevard make it a pleasant place to stroll and take in the sights and sounds of the city. One of the unique features of shopping on the Champs-Élysées is the variety of street performers and artists that line the street, adding to the vibrant atmosphere of the area. For those looking for a more eclectic and bohemian shopping experience, the Le Marais district is the perfect destination. This trendy neighborhood is filled with unique boutiques, vintage shops, and concept stores. The area is known for its diverse fashion scene, with a mix of both high-end and independent brands. One of the unique features of shopping in Le Marais is the abundance of street art and graffiti that adorns the walls of the buildings, adding to the area's artistic vibe. Paris is also home to many designer shops that offer a more personalized shopping experience. One such store is the Christian Louboutin Boutique, located in the heart of the city. The store offers an exclusive selection of high-end shoes, handbags, and accessories. What makes shopping at Christian Louboutin unique is the personalized service offered by the sales staff. Customers are given individual attention and guidance in choosing the perfect item, making the shopping experience more intimate and special. Finally, no visit to Paris would be complete without a trip to the famous flea markets. The Marché aux Pousses de saint wen is one of the largest flea markets in the world, with over 2,000 vendors selling a wide range of vintage and antique items. The market is a treasure trove of unique finds, from vintage clothing to antique furniture. One of the unique features of shopping at the Marché aux Pousses de saint wen is the opportunity to haggle with vendors, making it a fun and exciting shopping experience. In conclusion, Paris is a fashion lover's paradise, offering a wide range of unique shopping experiences. From the grand department stores to the trendy boutiques and flea markets, Paris has something for everyone. The city's diverse fashion scene, combined with its iconic landmarks and cultural attractions, make it a must-visit destination for anyone looking to indulge in the world of fashion. 
Continuing on the topic of fashion shopping in Paris, another unique and exciting shopping experience can be found at the Printo department store. Located near the Opera Garnier, Printo is a historic Parisian department store that dates back to the 19th century. The store offers a wide range of luxury fashion brands such as Burberry, Saint Laurent, and Givenchy, as well as a selection of beauty products, home goods, and gourmet food items. One of the unique features of Printo is the rooftop terrace, which offers stunning views of the city skyline. For those looking for a more offbeat and alternative fashion scene, the Belleville neighborhood in Paris is worth exploring. This multicultural and artistic district is home to a variety of independent boutiques, vintage shops, and streetwear stores. The area is known for its vibrant street art scene, which can be seen on the walls of buildings and in the form of graffiti. Shopping in Belleville offers a unique and authentic glimpse into the alternative fashion and art scenes of Paris. Another destination for fashion shopping in Paris is the Bon Marché department store. Located on the left bank of the Seine River, Bon Marché is known for its high-end fashion brands such as Celine, Balenciaga, and Alexander McQueen. The store also offers a selection of beauty products, home goods, and gourmet food items. One of the unique features of Bon Marché is the art exhibitions that are held within the store, which add to the cultural and artistic atmosphere of the space. For those looking for a more sustainable and eco-friendly shopping experience, Paris has a variety of eco-conscious fashion brands and stores. One such store is the Bestiaire Collective, which offers a curated selection of second-hand designer items. The store encourages sustainable fashion practices and offers a unique and affordable way to indulge in high-end fashion. Another eco-friendly shopping destination is the Merci Concept Store, which offers a selection of sustainable fashion brands as well as home goods, books, and other lifestyle products. In conclusion, Paris offers a diverse and exciting fashion shopping scene that caters to a wide range of styles and preferences. From the grand department stores to the trendy boutiques and flea markets, Paris has something for everyone. The city's unique neighborhoods and cultural attractions add to the overall shopping experience, making it a must-visit destination for fashion lovers from around the world. Paris is also home to a variety of street markets that offer a unique and authentic shopping experience. One such market is the Marché de Ligue, located in the 12th arrondissement. The market offers a wide range of products, from fresh produce and seafood to antiques and vintage clothing. Shopping at the Marché de Ligue is a great way to experience the local culture and interact with the friendly vendors. Another destination for fashion shopping in Paris is the Rue Saint-Honoré. This street is home to a variety of luxury fashion brands such as Hermès, Chanel, and Saint Laurent. The street also offers a mix of trendy boutiques and concept stores, adding to its diverse shopping scene. One of the unique features of shopping on Rue Saint-Honoré is the beautiful architecture of the buildings, which adds to the overall shopping experience. For those looking for a more budget-friendly shopping experience, Paris has a variety of discount stores and outlets. One such outlet is the La Vallée Village located just outside the city. The outlet offers a wide range of high-end fashion brands at discounted prices, making it a great destination for bargain hunters. Another discount store is the Toddy Department Store, 
which offers a selection of clothing, home goods, and accessories at affordable prices. The influence of fashion icons on commercial fashion brands and their involvement in advertising and media campaigns. The influence of fashion icons and celebrities on commercial fashion brands has been a long-standing phenomenon in the fashion industry. With the rise of social media and celebrity culture, the impact of fashion icons on fashion brands has become even more significant. In this essay, we will explore the influence of fashion icons and celebrities on commercial fashion brands, and how they participate in advertising and marketing campaigns. Fashion icons and celebrities have long played a crucial role in shaping fashion trends and styles. From Marilyn Monroe's iconic white dress to Audrey Hepburn's little black dress, fashion icons have inspired countless designers and fashion brands to create their own versions of these classic styles. In recent years, Social media influencers and celebrities like Kim Kardashian, Rihanna, and Beyonce have had a profound impact on fashion trends and styles, influencing everything from clothing to beauty products. Commercial fashion brands have long recognized the power of fashion icons and celebrities. and have sought to capitalize on their influence by partnering with them on advertising and marketing campaigns. These partnerships can take many forms, from celebrity endorsements to collaborations between fashion brands and influencers. For example, in 2019, luxury fashion brand Gucci partnered with social media influencer Harry Styles on a campaign promoting its new line of gender-neutral clothing. The campaign featured Styles wearing a variety of Gucci clothing, including a pink pussy bow blouse and a floral dress. The partnership helped to generate buzz and excitement around the new line, and helped to position Gucci as a leader in gender-neutral fashion. Similarly, many commercial fashion brands have partnered with celebrities and influencers on collaborations. in which the celebrity or influencer designs a collection or line of clothing for the brand. These collaborations can be highly lucrative for both the brand and the celebrity, and can help to generate significant media attention and buzz. However, these partnerships and collaborations can also be controversial. Critics argue that they can contribute to the objectification of women and the perpetuation of harmful beauty standards, and can reinforce the idea that fashion is only for the wealthy and privileged. Moreover, some critics argue that brands and influencers are not doing enough to promote diversity and inclusivity in their advertising and marketing campaigns. In response to these criticisms, Many fashion brands and influencers have sought to promote more inclusive and diverse images in their advertising and marketing campaigns. For example, in 2018, Rihanna's lingerie brand Savage X Fenty debuted its first runway show, featuring a diverse cast of models of all shapes, sizes, and skin tones. The show was widely praised for its celebration of diversity and inclusivity in fashion. In conclusion, the influence of fashion icons and celebrities on commercial fashion brands is a complex and multifaceted phenomenon. While these partnerships and collaborations can be highly lucrative for both the brand and the celebrity, they can also be controversial and contribute to harmful beauty standards. However, by promoting more inclusive and diverse images in their advertising and marketing campaigns, Fashion brands and influencers can help to challenge these harmful stereotypes and promote a more positive and inclusive vision of fashion. 
Another aspect of the influence of fashion icons and celebrities on commercial fashion brands is the impact on consumer behavior. The endorsement of a celebrity or fashion icon can have a powerful effect on consumer attitudes and purchasing decisions. Particularly among younger generations who are more likely to follow the latest fashion trends and styles. Research has shown that celebrity endorsements can help to increase brand awareness and positive associations among consumers, and can lead to higher levels of purchase intention and loyalty. A study by Nielsen found that celebrity endorsements can increase sales by as much as 20%, and can help to improve brand image and credibility. Moreover, social media influencers have become an increasingly important part of the fashion industry, particularly in the age of Instagram and TikTok. Influencers have large followings on social media platforms, and are often able to reach younger and more diverse audiences than traditional advertising channels. In recent years, many commercial fashion brands have partnered with influencers to promote their products and reach new audiences. However, the rise of influencer marketing has also raised concerns about transparency and authenticity. Some influencers have been criticized for promoting products without disclosing their financial relationships with the brands, or for promoting products that they do not genuinely use or believe in. This has led to calls for greater transparency and regulation in influencer marketing, to ensure that consumers are not misled or deceived. In response to these concerns, many fashion brands and influencers have sought to promote more ethical and sustainable fashion practices. For example, some brands have committed to using more sustainable materials and reducing their environmental impact. While some influencers have promoted body positivity and diversity in their campaigns. In conclusion, the influence of fashion icons and celebrities on commercial fashion brands is a complex and multifaceted phenomenon that can have a significant impact on consumer behavior. While celebrity endorsements and influencer marketing can be highly effective in promoting brands and products, they also raise concerns about transparency and authenticity. By promoting ethical and sustainable fashion practices and promoting inclusive and diverse images in their campaigns. Fashion brands and influencers can help to promote a more positive and responsible vision of fashion. Another important aspect of the influence of fashion icons and celebrities on commercial fashion brands is the impact on cultural ideals and values. The images and messages promoted by fashion icons and celebrities can shape societal norms and expectations around beauty, body image, and gender roles. For example, the thin ideal promoted by many fashion icons and celebrities has been criticized for contributing to unhealthy body standards and eating disorders. Moreover, the lack of diversity in fashion advertising and marketing campaigns has been criticized for reinforcing narrow beauty standards that exclude many groups of people. However, there have also been positive examples of fashion icons and celebrities using their influence to promote more inclusive and diverse cultural ideals. For example, the rise of the body positivity movement has been driven in part by the promotion of diverse body types and sizes by celebrities like Lizzo and Ashley Graham. Similarly, the promotion of gender-neutral and non-binary fashion by icons like Harry Styles has helped to challenge traditional gender norms and expectations. Moreover, the influence of fashion icons and celebrities on cultural ideals and values extends beyond just physical appearance. The messages and causes promoted by fashion icons and celebrities can also have a significant impact on social and political issues. For example, 
Many fashion icons and celebrities have used their influence to promote social and environmental causes, such as sustainability, LGBTQ plus rights, and racial justice. In recent years, many fashion brands and influencers have made public commitments to promoting ethical and sustainable fashion practices. and have used their platforms to raise awareness of important social and political issues. However, the impact of fashion icons and celebrities on cultural ideals and values is not always positive. Some critics argue that the promotion of consumerism and materialism by fashion icons and celebrities can contribute to a culture of excess and waste. Red Carpet Fashion Changes Over the Decades Over the decades, the fashion industry has undergone significant changes, and nowhere is this more evident than on the red carpet. The red carpet has become a symbol of glamour and high fashion, with celebrities and fashion icons parading their latest looks for the world to see. However, the fashion trends on the red carpet have evolved significantly over the years, reflecting changes in society and popular culture. In the 1920s, the red carpet was a relatively new concept, and fashion was dominated by the flapper style. Women wore short dresses with dropped waists and loose-fitting silhouettes, reflecting the newfound freedom and independence of the era. The red carpet at this time was more understated, with simple backdrops and minimal press coverage. The 1930s saw the rise of Hollywood glamour, with actresses like Marlene Dietrich and Greta Garbo setting the tone with their elegant and sophisticated style. The red carpet became more extravagant, with elaborate backdrops and press coverage becoming more widespread. The fashion of the era was characterized by long, flowing gowns with bias cuts and intricate beading. The 1940s brought with it the glamour of old Hollywood, with actresses like Rita Hayworth and Ava Gardner becoming fashion icons. The red carpet became even more elaborate, with paparazzi and fans crowding around to catch a glimpse of the stars. Fashion during this time was characterized by elegant and feminine silhouettes, with full-skirted ball gowns and fitted bodices. The 1950s saw the rise of the cocktail dress, with actresses like Audrey Hepburn and Marilyn Monroe setting the tone with their sophisticated and timeless style. The red carpet became more formal, with elaborate press backdrops and a greater focus on fashion. The fashion of the era was characterized by figure-hugging silhouettes, with cinched waists and full skirts. The 1960s brought with it a new era of fashion, with the rise of the mod style and the mini skirt. The red carpet became more playful, with colorful backdrops and a greater emphasis on youth culture. Fashion during this time was characterized by bold and graphic prints, with short hemlines and a more relaxed silhouette. The 1970s saw the rise of disco fashion, with actresses like Farrah Fawcett and Cher setting the tone with their glamorous and flamboyant style. The red carpet became more theatrical with elaborate lighting and set design. Fashion during this time was characterized by metallic fabrics, bold colors, and exaggerated silhouettes. The 1980s brought with it a new era of excess, with actresses like Madonna and Princess Diana setting the tone with their bold and provocative style. The red carpet became more flamboyant, with a greater focus on high fashion and designer labels. Fashion during this time was characterized by power dressing, with bold shoulder pads and oversized silhouettes. The 1990s saw the rise of grunge fashion, with actresses like Winona Ryder and Kate Moss setting the tone with their edgy and rebellious style. The red carpet became more relaxed, with a focus on individuality and personal style. Fashion during this time was characterized by a mix of high and low fashion, with a focus on vintage and thrift store finds. The 2000s brought with it a new era of celebrity culture, 
with actresses like Jennifer Lopez and Beyoncé setting the tone with their glamorous and over-the-top style. The red carpet became more theatrical, with elaborate set designs and a focus on brand partnerships. Fashion during this time was characterized by a mix of high-end designer labels and fast fashion, with a focus on the latest trends. In conclusion, the fashion trends on the red carpet have undergone significant changes over the decades, reflecting changes in society and popular culture. From the glamorous Hollywood era of the 1930s to the edgy grunge fashion of the 1990s, the red carpet has been a reflection of the changing times. Today, the red carpet continues to be a symbol of glamour and high fashion, with celebrities and fashion icons setting the tone for the latest trends and styles. In recent years, the fashion trends on the red carpet have become more diverse and inclusive, reflecting a greater emphasis on body positivity and diversity. The rise of social media and the internet has also had a significant impact on the fashion industry. With celebrities and influencers using their platforms to promote a more inclusive and sustainable approach to fashion. In terms of fashion trends, the 2010s saw a rise in minimalist and understated looks, with actresses like Emma Stone and Kate Blanchett setting the tone with their elegant and timeless style. The red carpet also became a platform for activism, with celebrities using their fashion choices to make political statements and raise awareness for social issues. More recently, the red carpet has become a platform for diversity and inclusivity. With actresses like Lupita Nyong'o and Aquafina pushing for greater representation and visibility for people of color and marginalized communities. The fashion trends have also become more diverse, with a greater focus on sustainability and ethical fashion. Today, the red carpet remains a symbol of glamour and high fashion, but it also represents a greater emphasis on inclusivity, diversity, and sustainability. The fashion industry has come a long way since its early days, and the red carpet continues to evolve with the changing times. It will be interesting to see how fashion trends on the red carpet will continue to change and evolve in the years to come. In recent years, the fashion trends on the red carpet have become more experimental and daring, with celebrities and fashion icons pushing the boundaries of traditional fashion norms. The rise of social media has also had a significant impact on the fashion industry, with influencers and fashion bloggers setting the tone for the latest trends and styles. One of the most notable fashion trends on the red carpet in recent years has been the rise of gender-neutral fashion. Celebrities like Harry Styles and Billy Porter have challenged traditional gender norms with their fashion choices, wearing dresses and skirts on the red carpet. This trend has been embraced by a new generation of fashion enthusiasts, who are pushing for more inclusivity and diversity in the fashion industry. Another trend that has emerged in recent years is the focus on sustainability and ethical fashion. Celebrities like Emma Watson and Stella McCartney have been vocal advocates for sustainable fashion, using their platforms to promote eco-friendly and ethical fashion choices. This trend has also been embraced by a new generation of fashion designers, who are using sustainable materials and ethical production methods to create their collections. In terms of fashion styles, the red carpet has seen a rise in bold and colorful looks in recent years. Celebrities like Lady Gaga and Zendaya have pushed the boundaries of traditional fashion norms with their bold and daring fashion choices. This trend has also been reflected in the rise of streetwear-inspired fashion on the red carpet. With celebrities like Rihanna and Kanye West embracing the latest trends in sportswear and urban fashion. Finally, the red carpet has also become a platform for cultural exchange and representation. Celebrities from diverse backgrounds have used their fashion choices to showcase their cultural heritage and promote a greater understanding of different cultures. This trend has been embraced by a new generation of fashion designers, 
who are using traditional fabrics and techniques to create modern and innovative fashion designs. The Development of China's Fashion Industry in the Digital Age The fashion industry in China has undergone significant development in recent years, driven in large part by the rise of digital technologies and e-commerce platforms. As one of the world's largest consumer markets, China has become a key player in the global fashion industry. With a growing number of domestic fashion brands and designers gaining international recognition. The development of China's fashion industry can be traced back to the country's economic reforms in the late 1970s and early 1980s, which opened up the country to foreign investment and trade. This led to the growth of manufacturing and export industries, including the textile and garment industries. However, for many years, China was primarily known as a low-cost manufacturing hub, with little emphasis on design or innovation. In the past decade, however, China's fashion industry has undergone a major transformation, driven in large part by the rise of digital technologies and e-commerce platforms. According to a report by McKinsey, China's e-commerce market for fashion and apparel is now the world's largest, with over 710 million online shoppers and sales of over $100 billion. One of the key drivers of this growth has been the emergence of mobile and social media platforms, which have enabled fashion brands and designers to reach a large and diverse audience. Platforms like WeChat and Weibo have become important marketing channels for fashion brands. allowing them to engage with consumers and promote their products through targeted advertising and influencer marketing campaigns. Moreover, the rise of e-commerce platforms like Tmall and JD.com has enabled fashion brands and designers to reach consumers in even the most remote parts of the country. And has helped to fuel the growth of domestic fashion brands. According to a report by Euromonitor, domestic fashion brands now account for over half of the fashion market in China, up from just 30% a decade ago. The growth of China's fashion industry has also been driven by a growing emphasis on design and innovation. In recent years, there has been a growing number of fashion shows and events in China, including Shanghai Fashion Week and the China International Fashion Week. which have helped to showcase the work of emerging designers and promote the development of the domestic fashion industry. Moreover, there has been a growing emphasis on sustainability and ethical fashion in China's fashion industry, with many brands and designers adopting eco-friendly materials and production practices. This has been driven in part by growing consumer demand for sustainable and ethical fashion, particularly among younger generations who are more conscious of environmental and social issues. However, the growth of China's fashion industry has also brought with it a number of challenges and concerns. For example, there have been concerns about the working conditions and labor practices in China's textile and garment industries. particularly in the context of fast fashion and the pressure to produce low-cost products. Moreover, there have been concerns about intellectual property rights and counterfeiting in the fashion industry. With many domestic and international brands facing challenges in protecting their designs and trademarks. In conclusion, the development of China's fashion industry in the age of digital technologies and e-commerce has been remarkable. Driven by the rise of mobile and social media platforms and the growth of domestic fashion brands. While there are challenges and concerns, the growth of the fashion industry in China has created new opportunities for designers. 
brands, and consumers, and has helped to promote the development of a more diverse and innovative fashion industry in China. In addition to the challenges and concerns facing China's fashion industry, there are also a number of opportunities for further development and growth. One key area of opportunity is the development of sustainable and circular fashion practices, which have become increasingly important in the global fashion industry. China's fashion industry has the potential to play a leading role in the development of sustainable and circular fashion practices. Given the country's large textile and garment manufacturing base and growing emphasis on sustainability, According to a report by the Ellen MacArthur Foundation, China is already the world's largest producer of recycled polyester and has the potential to become a global leader in sustainable textile production. Moreover, there are opportunities for China's fashion industry to collaborate with international partners on sustainable and circular fashion initiatives. For example, the Global Fashion Agenda has launched a partnership with the China National Garment Association to promote sustainable fashion practices in China. And there are growing opportunities for Chinese fashion brands and designers to participate in global sustainability initiatives. Another area of opportunity for China's fashion industry is the development of innovative technologies and materials. China is already a major player in the global technology industry. And there are growing opportunities for the country's fashion industry to collaborate with technology companies on the development of new materials and production processes. For example, Chinese e-commerce giant Alibaba has launched a number of initiatives aimed at promoting innovation and sustainability in the fashion industry. including a fashion eye platform that uses artificial intelligence to create personalized fashion recommendations for consumers. Moreover, the development of 3D printing and other digital technologies has the potential to transform the fashion industry in China. Enabling designers and brands to create more sustainable and customized products. In conclusion, the development of China's fashion industry in the age of digital technologies and e-commerce has created both challenges and opportunities for growth and innovation. While there are concerns about labor practices, counterfeiting, and intellectual property rights, there are also opportunities for the industry to lead the way in sustainable and circular fashion practices, as well as the development of innovative technologies and materials. By continuing to invest in sustainability, innovation, and collaboration, China's fashion industry can help to create a more responsible and innovative global fashion industry. Another important area of opportunity for China's fashion industry is the development of a more diverse and inclusive industry, with a greater emphasis on representation and cultural exchange. In recent years, there have been growing efforts to promote diversity and representation in China's fashion industry. Particularly in the context of the country's growing middle class and increasing exposure to global cultures. For example, there has been a growing interest in African and African-inspired fashion in China, with a number of African designers and brands gaining popularity among Chinese consumers. Moreover, there are opportunities for Chinese fashion brands and designers to collaborate with international designers and brands on cross-cultural fashion initiatives. For example, the recent collaboration between Chinese designer Fang Chen Wang and American sportswear brand Converse, which featured a collection inspired by both Chinese and American culture, highlights the potential for cross-cultural fashion collaborations. In addition to promoting diversity and representation in fashion, 
there are also opportunities for China's fashion industry to contribute to wider social and environmental initiatives. For example, the fashion industry can play a role in promoting gender equality and women's empowerment, particularly in the context of China's growing workforce of women in the fashion industry. Moreover, the fashion industry can contribute to wider environmental initiatives, such as the reduction of waste and pollution. This can be achieved through the adoption of circular fashion practices, as well as the use of sustainable and eco-friendly materials and production processes. Special dyeing techniques, such as batik, tie-dye, ikat and shibari. Special dyeing techniques such as batik, tie-dye, ikat, and shibari have been used for centuries to create unique and beautiful textile designs. These techniques involve manipulating the fabric in different ways before dyeing it, resulting in intricate and colorful patterns that cannot be achieved with traditional dyeing methods. Batik is a technique that originated from Indonesia, where it has been used for centuries to create intricate designs on fabric. The process involves applying hot wax to the fabric in specific areas to create a resist, meaning that the dye will not penetrate those areas. The fabric is then dyed, and the wax is removed to reveal the design. Batik can be done with a variety of dyes and can create intricate and detailed designs. Tie-dye is a technique that involves tying the fabric in specific areas before dyeing it. The tied areas resist the dye, creating a pattern of colored and non-colored areas. Tie-dye has been popularized in the United States during the 1960s and 1970s and became a symbol of the counterculture movement. Today, tie-dye has made a comeback and can be seen on clothing, accessories, and even home decor. Ikat is a technique that involves dyeing the threads before weaving them into the fabric, resulting in a pattern of dyed and undyed threads. This technique originated in Southeast Asia and Central and South America and has been used for centuries to create intricate and colorful textile designs. Ikat can be done with a variety of colors and can create bold and intricate patterns. Shibari is a Japanese technique that involves manipulating the fabric before dyeing it. The fabric is folded, twisted, or tied in specific areas to create a resist, and then dyed. The result is a unique and intricate pattern that cannot be replicated. Shibari can be done with a variety of dyes and can create a range of patterns, from soft and subtle to bold and graphic. These special dyeing techniques have gained popularity in recent years as people seek unique and sustainable fashion options. Many small businesses and artisans use these techniques to create one-of-a-kind pieces, and they can be seen on everything from clothing and accessories to home decor and furniture. Moreover, these techniques are not limited to traditional fabrics such as cotton and silk. They can be used on a variety of materials, including leather, denim, and even paper. This versatility makes them an excellent option for artists and designers who want to experiment with different materials and create unique and innovative designs. In conclusion, the special dyeing techniques of batik, tie-dye, ikat, and shibari have been used for centuries to create intricate and colorful textile designs. These techniques involve manipulating the fabric in different ways before dyeing it, resulting in unique and beautiful patterns that cannot be achieved with traditional dyeing methods. With the rise of sustainable and unique fashion options, 
these techniques have gained popularity in recent years and are being used to create one-of-a-kind pieces on a variety of materials. Apart from their use in fashion, the special dyeing techniques of batik, tie-dye, ikat, and shibari have also been utilized in art and home decor. These techniques allow for the creation of intricate and unique designs that are not possible with traditional dyeing methods, making them a popular choice for artists and designers. In art, these techniques have been used to create beautiful and intricate paintings, tapestries, and wall hangings. The unique patterns and colors created by these techniques make them a popular choice for art enthusiasts and collectors. Moreover, these techniques have also been used to create clothing accessories such as scarves, ties, and handkerchiefs. In home decor, the special dyeing techniques have been used to create beautiful and unique home textiles such as curtains, tablecloths, and cushion covers. These textiles can add a touch of elegance and uniqueness to any home, and the variety of colors and patterns available means that there is something to suit every taste and style. Furthermore, the use of these special dyeing techniques has gained popularity in the sustainable fashion industry. As people become more conscious of the environmental impact of fast fashion, they are turning to sustainable and ethical options. The use of natural dyes and traditional dyeing techniques is one such option, as they are eco-friendly and produce minimal waste. Moreover, these techniques have been used to preserve and promote traditional cultural practices. Many of these techniques have been passed down through generations and are an important part of cultural heritage. The use of these techniques in fashion and art promotes and preserves these traditions, ensuring that they are not lost to time. In conclusion, the special dyeing techniques of batik, tie-dye, ikat, and shibari have a wide range of applications, from fashion and art to home decor and cultural preservation. These techniques allow for the creation of unique and intricate designs that cannot be achieved with traditional dyeing methods. As people become more conscious of the environmental impact of fast fashion, the use of these techniques has gained popularity in the sustainable fashion industry. They are an excellent option for those who want to support ethical and eco-friendly fashion and promote traditional cultural practices. One of the advantages of these special dyeing techniques is their versatility. They can be used to create a range of designs, from soft and subtle to bold and graphic. This versatility allows for endless possibilities, making them a popular choice for designers and artists who want to experiment with different colors and patterns. Moreover, the use of natural dyes in these techniques is another advantage. Natural dyes are derived from plants, insects, and minerals, making them an eco-friendly and sustainable option. They are also hypoallergenic and do not contain harmful chemicals, making them a safe and healthy choice for people with sensitive skin. Another advantage of these special dyeing techniques is the personal connection they create between the artist and the piece. Each piece is unique, and the process of dyeing involves a personal touch that cannot be replicated in mass-produced items. This personal connection makes each piece special and meaningful, and it is one of the reasons why they are so popular in the art and fashion industry. In addition, the use of traditional dyeing techniques such as batik and shibari has cultural significance. These techniques have been used for centuries in various cultures, and their use in fashion and art promotes and preserves these traditions. In a world where mass-produced items dominate the market, 
the use of these traditional techniques is a way to celebrate and honor cultural heritage. Finally, the use of these special dyeing techniques has a positive impact on local communities. Many artisans and small businesses rely on these techniques for their livelihood, and the demand for these unique and sustainable products provides them with a source of income. This helps to support local economies and communities, promoting sustainable and ethical practices in the fashion and art industry. In conclusion, the special dyeing techniques of batik, tie-dye, ikat, and shibari have several advantages, including their versatility. The use of natural dyes, the personal connection they create, their cultural significance, and their positive impact on local communities.